this is our side twist top. It's what it looks like when it's finished. And this is our front. So we're going to overlock our neck and our two yokes. go to the plain sewer. So now we're going to hem our neck first and it's just a small foot width. Pulling a little bit, so you can see I'm pulling. So it's just over your overlocking if you're four thread. It makes, if you do it nice and small, as long as you're even, it just makes your curve here easy to sew. Remember to pull slightly, let, it, let the machine kind of take it really. There's your neck. So that, now we have to do our yoke. So we're going to put right sides together and start under our arm. And I just, it's a centimetre seam the way up here. And you have to pull it here because this is going across your body. So I've got quite a good tension on that. Come up about two centimeters. So you're going to leave a little hole. Where is it? There, about two centimeters. Now this is where we do our twist. So this side here has to go through that hole. So your whole shoulder. So you can have a good look here. So get this and stick it through this little hole. It can sometimes be fiddly. There you go. Can you see what I've done? I've pulled it through. There's your shoulder back again. So now we're going to sew these two seams together. So we're going to sew right up to we can't go anymore. Same thing, it's because it's going across your body, we really have to pull it so it won't crack when you put wearing it. And just go as close as you can up without catching. And there's our twist. You can see our twist. It's not pressed yet. It'll look better when it's pressed. But you can just on your neck, fold that back. It's in a pretty good position at the moment. So that's our front. Now I'll bring the back up because we need to put our neck band on. This is my right side facing up. This is my back neck. You can see my neck here for the centre back. Because it's this is an asymmetrical neck, the neck isn't in the middle. That's your centre, that's your centre back, but it's not in the middle of your neck. So you just have to be aware of that. Fold your neck band so the right side's outside, so it's in half. Start on your shoulder, centimetre seam. Fold it over and pin it to this side. And 
And if you can see, I've just sat that flat, and then I've just grabbed so it's all even when you're sewing it. There's your neck band on. What you want to look at is make sure that this is all even all the way down because then when you turn it back you'll see your neck will look nice. So now we're going to the overlocker. So now we're going to overlock our neck, back neck band. Go back and top stitch, put our label in top stitch. So we want to put our label in now. And if I, so I can still just see my neck here. Sometimes if you cut it off, you won't, you'll be able to have to measure it back on the pattern. So we're going to stick our label in, making sure the centre of our labels on that neck. Keeping our label name nice and even to the top, so it's nice and even. There's our label on. Now we're going to top stitch, foot width. My eye is on the groove to the foot here. And we're going to pull it because it's a neck band, just slightly pull it so it doesn't crack when we're putting it on and off. Our neck band, back neck band on. So now we're going to join our shoulders, right side to right side. Centimetre seam. Now we're going to match these the two folds perfectly together at this side. You can slightly pull this through because you're on the plane so it isn't it? So if you kind of get this one and kind of V it, you get a V. That's where you want to stop. Centimetre. That means that's all nice and neat. We do our other side. This time it's a little bit harder because we have to start on the side. So if you V it in, see there's a little V I put. Then you can actually see exactly where you have to start. Centimetre out. Back stitch to hold it and come to the other side. Pulling. Check that neck. Yep, that's good. Probably a fratch. No, you'll get that. get away with that. It's probably a mill out, but you get away with it. So now we have to go back to the overlocker and do our shoulders. Now we're going to overlock our shoulders. I'm going to trim my ends there, but where you've got your neck, you leave a tail. That's a tail. You want to leave a tail because we have to tuck it back and catch it later and we don't want that overlocking to pull away. While we're here we're going to do our side seams because this is all single on this garment. At, at the shoulder seam, your shoulder seam goes towards the back. Your yoke seam gets opened. The side. Yoke seams are opened. 
I've got a tiny nut there from my, I need to make that a little bit bigger. Just for where my arm my armhole is. Shoulder seam towards the back. going to go back and catch our neck and do our side seam on the plane saw. Okay, we're going to catch our shoulder, like the just our neck shoulders back. So where you've got that tail, you want to sew it back, kind of pull it a little bit and catch it with the plane saw. And you can trim that tail off. That means it's all back and tidy. You can see that. And then we're just going to tack Smith it which way you go, but you could even top stitch it to your neck. Like that. You could go all the way along the shoulder if you wanted to. So I'm just going to do the other side. Pull it quite tightly on that point. Trim that back. And I'm just going to top stitch. Just to where my neck stitching is, so it looks neat. Now we're going to sew our side seams. So there's a nick here. You can, you can fit on your body where you want that nick to go. This is stretched a little bit because of the grain, but there's an, a nick just above your yoke seam. So I'm going to do the lower one because could be a little bit low for anything. And I'm going to pull the seam again because it's knit. It's a centimetre seam. It doesn't like going together. Some knits aren't, don't like each other, <laughs> especially if they get a bit of static in them. We'll go up the other side. pulling it a little bit because I want it not to crack and put it on. Now because the twist has changed the grain at the top and that's why I think this is a little bit different here I just have to make sure yes so these nicks are coming into the right spot now it's just the grain at that top because we need it to twist it's a little bit different on the arm so just make sure that both your armholes are the same this one here is not going to have quite as much stretch because you've got the wrong grain sitting this way so they'll be fine so now we have to just catch our hem back on your around your sleeve or your, where your armhole is open that seam out I just start from my back first, and it's a foot width, just like our neck, and we're going to pull it. Down to the bottom, you're just going to go across and match up with where you started, and that's your armhole done. Anything on the plane, so you sew in the knit, remember you have to slightly pull it. So, on this side, we're going to start from the front.
quite a soft fabric in it. it likes to do what it wants. Joys of sewing knit. And there's your other arm sleeve done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back, we're going to fit your garment now and decide what length you want it and then we're going to overlock the hem. Okay, so now we go overlock around the hem. I always start from the back. Remember these seams are open because your seams are open down the side now. Going to go, we're going to actually hem this with the plain sewer, not the cover seamer, just so more people have more pl a plain sewer. So we'll go back to the plain sewer. So we're going to hem it with the plain sewer today, not the cover seamer. So we want to turn it to the right sides. So the right sides outside. And I'm going to start, I always start for some reason with the back seam and the front seam. It's just the way I do it. So we know our, it's an inch or two and a half centimetres. This is the stickiest fabric. <laughs> I don't know why I've chosen this fabric to show you. Pulling it slightly. If you have a cover seam, a cube or Definitely use that because it takes a lot longer doing it like this on the plain sewer. And it makes a bit of trouble. Still slightly pulling it. See, I kind of get it in the right position because when I pull it, this rolls up so it's hard to see. So you kind of have to get it in the right position and then hold it in place. Still pull the fabric at the same time. Nothing worse than a, a wonky hem. Just going slowly and get it right the first time. Join up your stitching and there's your hem. You can see how it's gone a little bit bubbly but once it's pressed it should be alright. When you fit your garment and if you're using the plain sewer you might need to take your side seams in a tiny bit to allow for that but just see how you go. Once you've got it right and you want to fit it now you can then make it look like a cover seam if you want by doing a twin needle top stitch round. Still pulling it and that will just make it look like a proper cover seamer. Nice and even. Matching your stitching from your ends. And there's your top all done. All you need to do now is go over and press it. Right, so we're going to underpress. Same thing. These are open and we want to go right up across the hem, keeping your seams all open. That means because I've used the plain sewer here, I don't want to pull it, I just want it to sit back in. A lot of steam on them. If you've got a steam iron, it'll be good. This one's extra steam, but... And then 
the shoulders. So sticky, this fabric. And look at this yoke seam. Probably won't sit. You want to kind of open as much as you can, but once it's twisted, it'll probably sit in a little bit. Just round my armholes. Let's turn it through and we'll have a look at that neck. Go up, giving this a good press. When you get to the twist bit, just kind of do the steam on it so it sits and make sure this, the neck is all sitting nice and, and it's sitting flat. But that's your press, it's a pretty quick press. Repress that. 